Good morning, everyone. It is Sandra Alexa here, and today is January the 17th, okay? Um, basically, for those of you that, that don't know me, and for those of you that do, I welcome you, and I hope that I have something I can share today with you um, that can resonate with you. I'm an intuitive astrologer, I'm an educator, I'm an author, and if you go underneath into the show me section, you'll see my website, it's called My Personal Muse, and I have a YouTube channel. So let's get started. 2024, number eight, here we are. An exciting and game changer event. Get ready to embrace the powerful and potent transit on January the 20th, 2024, as Pluto at 29 degrees of Capricorn conjuncts the sun at 29 degrees of Capricorn, which is a critical and erratic degree. As this is the culmination degree, the influential signature has more hidden secrets and revelations to be exposed. The sun, which is the brightest light in our solar system with the warmth, heat, and consciousness, meets up with Pluto, which is the farthest from the sun in the dark realms of the solar system. A relationship, a relational energy as the sun brings powerful energy to highlight Pluto and Pluto also transforms and impacts the sun. It's time to connect with your personal power and self-mastery. It reveals the proficiency of the particular zodiac sign as we have experienced Pluto and Capricorn since 2008. The question is, what did you learn? We get this gut feeling that something is impending or imminent, okay? Then the next day on January the 21st of 2024, Pluto at zero degrees of Aquarius conjuncts the sun at zero degrees of Aquarius. Again, another critical and erratic degree as we embrace the new energies now. The sun shines its light and yet Pluto is uncomfortable as it does not like to be exposed. However, we are to awaken and see and understand the deep, dark truths. Some may not want to see the truth. It doesn't really matter. From March to June of 2023, we had a sampler of Pluto when it moved into Aquarius for a few months. Now, Pluto moves back at 29 degrees of Capricorn retrograde in September 1st of 2024, and then returns to zero degrees Aquarius on November the 19th of 2024, where it now remains for 20 years until 2044. Still some revelations and cleanup as the old powers do not go quietly. We have a surge of individuals who honor their sovereignty and refuse to conform to authority control. As Pluto shifts gears into Aquarius, ruled by Uranus, which is the higher consciousness, the age of enlightenment, we shift our frequency as we embrace the ascension process. The last time Pluto was in Aquarius was from 1778 to 1798, and the U.S. is having its Pluto return right now, and you can see it with the politics, with the freedom, with the control. And it marked a series of global movement towards independence and revolution that favored the people over dominant power systems. Changes to technology and a new view of humanity shifted in favor of the disenfranchised. The same energy is swirling in the air. We have the populist movement. Pluto is famously known as the generation planet. And its transitions into new signs are extremely rare, happening only once every generation. Pluto is one of the most mysterious and enigmatic, en, en, enigmatic planets in astrology. And its placement in a particular sign can have a profound impact on our lives. It rules Scorpio and is known as the planet of transformation, mystery, rebirth, regeneration, and intense psychological experiences. It's related to power, intensity, and profound changes that occur over long periods. 
On a metaphorical level, the process of death and rebirth can manifest as a major life transition or transformation. Just as the caterpillar must die in order to become a butterfly, we must sometimes let go of the old in order to make way for the new. Pluto's energies are intense and can be transformative, destructive, and potent. Pluto in Aquarius is known for its ruthless honesty, which can be a shock to the system for those who prefer to live in denial. This energy is not afraid to expose the truth, even if it means confronting uncomfortable or taboo topics. This can be especially challenging in a society that often values conformity and group thinking over individual thinking, expression and critical thinking. Pluto in Aquarius dismantles what is begging to evolve, forcing us to rebuild from the ashes. However, these experiences can ultimately lead to a greater sense of purpose and clarity as we shed what no longer serves us and make way for new growth. Aquarius is focused on innovation, ideas, communication, intellectual pursuits, humanitarianism, social change, and progress. However, being a fixed sign, it can sometimes be, be resistant to change especially if the change does not align with its values. Aquarius desires freedom and personal autonomy, and it seeks to create a better world through intellectual and technological advancements. It's highly analytical and rational in nature with a pull to the scientific and technological field, and it's known for its creativity and originality, often being at the forefront of new trends and ideas. The symbol of Aquarius is actually the water bearer, which prevents, even though it's an air sign, it represents the idea of carrying and distributing knowledge and progressive ideas, particularly for humanitarian causes. Aquarius energy is deeply rooted in the values of humanitarianism, peace, unity, social justice, and equality, and is commonly known for its desire for harmony and cooperation. However, the influence of Pluto can be quite disruptive and create tem temporary disharmony as it has the power to deconstruct anything that is ready to be alchemized into a new form to pave the way for radical change. Despite the turmoil, the destructive force can be seen as a necessary step in the evolution of society as well as individual growth. It's important to note that the planet of Aquarius, okay, because Pluto is in Aquarius, but Aquarius has a planet, is Uranus, which is notorious for being unpredictable and disruptive. It is a planet that's associated with progress, rebellion, unconventional thinking, and freedom. And it can bring sudden breakthroughs and unexpected change that disrupt the status quo. The challenge in this energy is finding a balance between the desire for peace and unity and the need for transformal change. Collective, we must learn to navigate this destabilizing era with a sense of purpose and intention and work together to create new structures that align with fairness, equality, and harmony. For Pluto and Aquarius also represents a time when we will see the emergence of new social movements that seek to create a fair world at any cost. Therefore, we may see a rise in activism and social justice movements. People will be interested in creating a society that values individual freedom and personal autonomy, and they will take advantage of advancements in technology to create positive and lasting change. However, it can also bring chaos and uncertainty. Okay. Um, and a tendency towards extremism. When Pluto is in Aquarius, it can bring upheaval that leads to a deeper understanding of the interconnectedness of all things and a greater awareness of the impact of human actions on the environment. Overall, the energy of Pluto in Aquarius could lead us to question our beliefs and values and seek out new and innovative ways of living and being. This could be a time of profound self-discovery as we're encouraged to break free from outdated patterns and societal norms and expectations and embrace our unique individuality. It suggests that the most profound transformations will occur when we collectively let go of outdated patterns and embrace new progressive ways of being. As with any astrological 
placements important to approach Pluto and Aquarius with a sense of awareness and mindfulness and to embrace the transformative energies of this powerful planet with intention and purpose. So be awake, have your intentions, understand. The transform energies of Pluto can be intense, so it's important to have a clear sense of what you want to achieve and what you're willing to let go of in order to make space for growth and change. I'm really happy that I could share, and I hope you've got some kind of a message for you perfectly. 2024 is a number eight year, it's power. So many blessings and much love. And I do hope you will like this video. I hope you would give me a comment, maybe subscribe to, to the channel and share. And many blessings.